In my last commentary slash documentary, I talked about the Dream Team and how their claim to fame was structured, entertaining, and overall very well done. In this video, however, we are going to be talking about just as pleasant of a trio, but one whose shared brand had a swift rise followed by a slow yet steady demise. The Muffin Squad, featuring A6D, Bad Boy Halo, and of course Skeppy. How they met, formed a bond, and began their own empire together. However, one that would regretfully be very short-lived and inevitably deleted as the group slowly grew further and further apart. This is the story of the Muffin Squad, or the trio. I hope you enjoy. Oh, and if you do enjoy, then a subscription to the channel would be amazing and mean the world to me. Thank you so much. In the world of Minecraft YouTubers, Skeppy is one of the most notable ones of the current generation. Sure, there are the legends of the past like Captain Sparkles and DanTDM, but nowadays, in this new era, YouTubers like Skeppy, Dream, and Technoblade are becoming modern household names. But of course, we're focusing on Skeppy. Skeppy started his YouTube channel on January 15th, 2015, when he was 15 years old. I wish that number was one lower too, but we can't win them all. Obviously, the story isn't about Skeppy alone, but like Dream and the Dream Team, Skeppy is more obviously the catalyst that inspired the Muffin Squad to begin, and he brought Bad and A60 together. At the time, Bad Boy Halo also had a YouTube channel, and in one of his videos, Skeppy said he watched him every now and then. Skeppy's first public video is a server announcement slash trailer for his new kit PvP server, Invaded Lands. Bad Boy Halo 2 also owned a server, Munchie MC. As we all know, each moderately popular Minecraft server experiences many hackers. A common way to deal with those hackers was to ban them from the server, nothing new there. However, Bad Boy Halo capitalized on this process to make a ban appeals video series on his YouTube channel, where he would act out the ban appeals and make them into these sort of skits. On August 28th of 2017, Bad released ban appeals number 14. Yes, this number is no coincidence, as it was a collab with Skeppy. The premise was simple. Skeppy would just voice a character in a funny manner, and the clips would continue to roll. Hello, when I try and join your server, it says that I've been banned for auto soup. What the freak? Are you freaking serious? I know this is a freaking lie, because the hack line that I use when I play on your server only has reach and auto clicker. It doesn't have auto soup. That's freaking stupid. However, this event was special, as it was, to the extent of my knowledge, the first appearance of Skeppy on Bad's channel, and their first real project together. The next major interaction wouldn't be till around October 15th of 2018, where Skeppy made a video applying for staff on 50 random Minecraft servers, one of which being, you guessed it, MunchyMC. When talking about this event recently, Bad actually admitted that he thought Skeppy was legitimately interested in being staff, and was thrilled to have a big YouTuber want to be staff on his server. Little did he know, however, that the entire thing would regretfully be a troll. Skeppy then followed up on his video a few days later with yet more interview footage from Bad. This video was just 17 minutes of Skeppy making hilarious comments and answers for what Mr. Halo assumed would be a normal staff interview. After noticing the reaction he got from Bad, I guess Skeppy thought it would be entertaining enough to pursue and make more content about Munchie. And you bet that was the right decision. The Skeppy x Bad Boy Halo, or Skep Boy Halo, or whatever you want to call it dynamic was just amazing. The two's completely different personalities intertwined in a manner comparable to Dream, George, and Sapnap. The Skep Bad relationship was far from similar to those guys, but the interestingness, entertainingness, and overall comedic value of their interactions rivaled that of the Dream Team if not surpassed it. The Skeppy viewers loved it too, and videos about Bad Boy Halo would usually get more views than the normal content. Their different attitudes and the way they interact was completely new, truly greater than the sum of their parts. Skeppy recognized this as well, and he pumped out troll after troll after troll after troll after troll video on Bad. Over 30 videos to my knowledge and counting. With each video, his bond with Bad grew stronger, and even though they had this troll-troll relationship, the two had slowly become better and better friends. But it was also around this time that Skeppy had his first major interaction with another core member of the trio. A60. Unlike Bad Boy Halo, A60 didn't really have a social presence, and his debut online, funnily enough, was when he made headlines after being charged and given the possibility of a prison sentence at the age of 16. I won't get into it, but if you're curious, I left a link in the description to his story. Now this was back in December of 2017, and it was around this time that Skeppy and A60 actually met. As A6D puts it, he would donate often to Skeppy, and finally got the chance to talk with him in DMs. 
After that, he began editing and making thumbnails every once in a while for Skep's channel, but they rarely ever voice chatted, so Skeppy wasn't actually familiar with A6's voice. This small detail will come into play very, very soon. A60 doesn't really explain why he did this next part, but at one point, he wanted to troll Skeppy, so he spam emailed him requesting that he join his Minecraft server. Older Skeppy fans know where this is going, and so, on November 25th, the French server owner saga began. In the first video, Skeppy didn't recognize his part-time editor by Minecraft name, so until they got in a voice chat in a sequel, Skeppy didn't know who he was. However, at the time, the two kept this detail to themselves, because they didn't want to make it seem like they had faked the original encounter. Because of their history together, the pair quickly bonded more, and there was a small period of time where Skeppy would churn out a 6 related content, similar to his bad boy Halo phase, but shorter. Only a few weeks later, on December 1st, Skeppy brought the two together and had A6D troll Bad Boy Halo. A6D's new and unique personality and dynamic sparked even more entertaining content than before, and it was clear from the start that the trio was capable of making very bingeable and enjoyable content. While all this was happening, A6D managed to do something that little of Skeppy's troll victims ever achieved make success of his feature. A6D capitalized on his various features and screen time to start his own YouTube channel, with his first introduction upload a bit after Skeppy's first video. The video got some attention, but A6D didn't stop there, making the diss track to gather more of Skeppy's friends to notice him, hoping to get publicity and a reaction from Skeppy himself, which I believe he did. All of this enabled A6D to forge an audience for himself, and slowly he grew over time, with original content sprinkled in and healthy doses of Skeppy and Bad put in the mix as well. With the original boost from the feature and his ability to make actually good content, A6D was able to steadily grow his following and still continues to do so to this day. The meeting between A6D, Bad, and Skeppy was the first peak of their interactions, and over time, Skeppy would slowly make more content focused on trolling players and other miscellaneous shenanigans, sometimes involving Bad, but less A6D. That being said, it is clear now, and probably was to Skeppy at the time, that videos of the trio together just did better. They generally got more views and were far better received. And on April 14th, 2019, Skeppy posted a tweet on his Twitter declaring he wanted to start a YouTuber group. Obviously, Bad Boy and A6D were the best choice as they had this shared history. So finally, on June 12th, 2019, the Muffin Squad channel was formed. Now, I do believe that originally the channel was in fact called the Muffin Squad, but later rebranded to the Trio. It slowly grew in subscribers, and I personally remember just watching it idle with no videos being posted. Now, it's gonna be slightly difficult to pinpoint the releases of certain videos because they're all deleted and I'll get to why later, but I'll do my best for now. Even before any videos went up, the channel managed to get around 70,000 subscribers to my knowledge, maybe a bit more, a bit less, and this is where the timeline gets a little fuzzy, however. Trio's first upload was sometime around the first few days of October 2019. There's this playlist I found that contains re-uploads of the Trio, their two live streams, and two videos. Out of the four, I can say with certainty that this is the first piece of content, because Skeppy announces it in the video as the first podcast on the channel. This is further backed up when one checks the social blade of the Trio's channel. Their first views were all gathered in the first week of October, and thus one can assume that this is when the video originally came out. There isn't too much significance to this video, but it does set a standard for future content on the channel. The next appearance of the trio actually has a confirmed date, and that was their 100k livestream on the 14th of October. Yet again, another podcast, but this time in live mode, with the goal of 100k subscribers along the way. How, you may ask, do I know when this was? Well, the trio ended up doing a few cahoots, and while they played, you could see in the taskbar the date of the stream. A couple of months later, as expected, Skeppy tweeted out a picture of the trio's silver play button. Next, they had a stream with Finster, I'm guessing sometime in October, but there isn't really any timestamps or anything significant about this one. The final piece of content to my knowledge is the famous, and I guess slightly infamous, Scribble.io video on the trio channel. Once again, we can reference the views graph to assume this video was posted early November. This assumption is also backed up by community posts by both Bad and A6D dating back to 9 months ago, which funnily enough, at the time of recording, is exactly November 3rd. The video itself is nothing special, just a pretty wholesome video, and I recommend watching it if you're bored and are interested. However, it holds significance, because to my knowledge, it is the final piece of content released by the trio. Again, the Finster stream actually could have been after this, but I don't think that's the case, as the channel was still getting views mid-October, and it would make more sense that the podcast was sometime then. 
But this was the beginning of the end for the trio. So, what happened to the squad? The views were decent, which we can see because when the videos were deleted, over 1.5 million views were lost. So, why was the Scribble video the last we saw of them? Well, the full reasons behind the collapse of the trio are uncertain, but I'll do my best to provide my own take on it and summarize the information provided. All the information that I know, of course, because there could be more that I haven't found. Probably is. There are two primary reasons for the breakup of the trio, one with much more substance than the other. On February 1st, 2020, Scuppy had a stream where he briefly spoke about the trio breaking up. He mentioned that the three members had different goals in mind and different things they wanted to accomplish with the channel, and their priorities didn't really match up with each other's. I guess this is sort of highlighted by the diversity of the three styles of content we saw on the channel. First, we had the recorded and edited podcast, then the two live-streamed ones, and finally the more relaxed and fun scribble video. I'm not saying each of the three had one they decided or liked the most, I'm saying there was a clear split between the types of content they put out together. That said, let's go on to reason number two, and this one has a bit more substance to it. Drama. On the same day as the live stream, Skeppy tweeted out a couple of interesting short paragraphs on a Skeppy Extra account. His main point is the drama one. Skeppy, true to what he says, has always been one to distance himself from controversies and drama. When I think of drama around the period, two things come to mind. The first, I think, is more widespread, and that is the Minecraft Monday drama. Now, I must point out, A6V A6D's video on the Keemstar drama did come out in early September, which is far before the Trio channel, but it's still drama that Skeppy involved himself in. Now, here, in my opinion, there is more of a right and wrong side for Skeppy to take, and standing by A6D as he did was probably the right decision. If you want to know more in depth about the drama, by the way, I won't be covering it because its substance isn't really relevant, but there are tons of videos on the subject, or just watch A6D's video if you're interested. The second piece of drama is the A6D R-word drama. Yet again, A6D stirred up some trouble when he supposedly condoned the use of the R-word on Twitter and maybe live. I feel uncomfortable talking about all this because of two reasons. One, it's an uncomfortable topic, and two, I frankly don't know much about the specifics and I didn't even realize this had happened until researching this video. So just a fair warning, nothing I say is 100% true and I may be wrong here and there. Needless to say, however, this drama, if it is how I say it, would put Skeppy in a difficult position. On one hand, he would want to support his friend A6D, like Dream did, I think. On the other hand, Skeppy needs to acknowledge that saying such things is clearly not okay, and he would have to side against his friends if he chose to have a stance on it. I don't think Skeppy really evolved himself, but definitely was in an uncomfortable position throughout the whole ordeal. As he said in his tweet, he's getting roped into drama by the trio, which puts him in a sticky situation that nobody really wants to be in. There are many other factors of course for the breakup as he said, but those are the two that I'm most aware of and have the most knowledge on, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. But as most of you know, this wasn't the end for the trio channel. Since February, the channel sat idle, but around early May, Skeppy privated all the old videos and rebranded as Skeppy's Lab. Then, on the 8th of May 2020, Scuppy released a face reveal video. This marked the start of his face cam vlog channel that would be Scuppy's Lab. Still, if you go on YouTube and search for the trio or Muffin Squad, you're met with a Scuppy's Lab channel. And that brings us to present day. Scuppy still uploads on Scuppy's Lab and still plays with Bad and A6D every once in a while on his Skep and Scuppy channels. The ending of the story is bittersweet, but things generally tend to work out and I'm sure this was for the best. Now there is dots, and time will tell if that dies out too, or lives on. We'll just wait and see, I guess. But that wraps up today's video. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you did, then please do consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all later, and peace out. Bye. Have a good one.